Hello again and welcome back. So the last couple of weeks I've been looking at Photoshop tutorials. So this week I thought I'd look at an in-camera trick called forced perspective. So what is forced perspective? Well, simply put, it's when you use an object or the environment to manipulate the visual perspective of the viewer to create an illusion. Yeah, that, that was simple. So the most common one we see though is to do with size. Now this is when you grab an object and you put it closer or further away from the camera to make it look like it's either huge or tiny. So I thought I would show you this one with using a football. So here I have the football and I'm gonna move it really close to the camera and then I'm gonna go further away from the camera so it looks like I've gone tiny and then I'm gonna put my arms up like I'm trying to pick it up. And then you can also do the opposite. Now if I put the ball really far away from the camera and I come closer to the camera, now it looks like the ball is tiny and I'm, well, a giant. And I can pick the ball up with just using two fingers. So that's an example of object force perspective. So here's one using your environment. Now I was in Stammer Park and I found a lonely tree. So I laid on the floor put my hands around it and then just twisted the camera. Cool, right? And a lot safer than doing it for real. So here's a couple of tips to help you with your forced perspective. Firstly, use a wide angle lens or anything that's 35 millimeter or below. Also put your f-stop quite high so you've got a good depth of field. And when you are focusing, especially on the object version, think of the football, think of me, and then try and focus in the middle of the two. So now you know what forced perspective is and how to do it, here are some other examples that I got up to. And there you go, that is forced perspective, explained and shown. Now, personally, I had a lot of fun doing this project, so please just go out and give it a go. And then tag me so I can see what you've been up to, and then I'll see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. If you could hit that like button, that'd be great. Then hit the subscribe button so you never miss anything. And if you've got any suggestions for future videos, Write them in the comments.